So guys, are you ready to tackle the next match? Yes! For real? Okay. So now, Vanessa is going to introduce you the topic, all right? So go ahead. So our next debate is getting out of France CFA zone, an opportunity for the youth. So when we're ready, you can start with your timer. Hello everybody. Good afternoon, dear lovely member of the jury. Hello dear opponent and hello also to our lovely audience. Our today's topic, I go by the name of Lamin Job. I'm a student down biology faculty. I'm reading food and human nutrition from the faculty, science faculty at Chihan the Job University. Reserve. Getting out of the CFA zone is a golden opportunity for the youth. First, allow me to go back through history. After the end of after the end of the World War II, okay. After the end of the World War II, French economy gone down, so they were highly weakened. So it was necessary; it was compulsory for them to try to make that mess fixed up. So for that, and so far, there are French, let me, I wanted to say the French colonies so far have been using a currency named CFA. And with that time, CFA means, with that time, CFA means pleasure and an honor for me to be here today. So, dear members of the jury, dear opponents, good afternoon. So, uh, defining the fact of the some African countries must stay in the front safe zone is really tricky. It's even hilarious, isn't it? Uh, let's make a flashback in history. The Nazis in the past colonized the French and they developed a system in order to drain French resources in their country. A couple of years after, the same French colonized some African people and used the same system to drain African resources in their country. And they have succeeded because each year, France is earning $400 billion with the CFA. That is too much. And the problem with the youth is, the biggest problem, the things youth need is education and job. And African people, young African people are not having those things. So why we are not having those things? Because of France CFA. Just imagine how many schools we can build with 400 
billion dollars. How many universities we can build with 400 billion dollars? How many employees we can employees we can create with 400 billion dollars? And today, these guys, uh, as students in one university, they dare to come here and defend that the France CFA must stay, or we, we have to stay in the France CFA. I don't know what they prepared, but it's going to be a little bit tricky for them. Right? Am I wrong, guys? No, no, no. no. Yeah, no. that's it. That's it. And in Senegal, each year, there is 300,000 300, new young people in the market employment. They are looking for job, young people, but only 30,000 people finally have job. 30,000 people, young people, finally have job. So what are we doing with the remaining? That is too much. That is too much. So I don't know what you've prepared, but you'll have big problem to convince me that the front CFA have to stay, or we have to stay in the front CFA zone. Thank you, guys. No, that means. No, that means. Uh -huh. The France AFA zone in Africa here is divided into two sides. The Western African one and also the Central African one. So imagine you have a currency, the same currency, you have the same aim, the objective. You don't change any principles, but you have two sides. So, and each of those sides has their own way to manage it. And they all, they serve the French community. The French community, the French economy. And guess what? We have the European Union. Before, we have the French France. In 1945, one French CFA was 1.4 times the French zone because they unit their forces they they build a strong currency they manage it by themselves and not to giving somewhere else or I mean another country or another continent to get that managed here in Africa our French effect is being managed handled by France and guess what? At least 50% of the pools, our reserves, is we have to go to, to store that in France. And also, another fact is, it's a little bit odd. When your economy is ripped, when your economy is ripped, you will become weak. And once you are weak, you cannot really help your youth to get opportunities, to get opportunities and also to be really focused on the development. Thank you very much. And um, I'm about um, our subject, it will be helpful for us to remember, to remind uh, the, the history of the France IFA. In, in 1945, uh, France ratified the um, Bretton Woods ag Agreements. And by ratifying this Bretton Woods ag Agreements, it um, involved that the uh, French colon colonies are going into the same monetary zone. Um, uh, the controversy about this France FA zone, the basis of this controversy is uh, put by the um, French politicians and the intellectuals. Their main explication to get out of this France, France FA zone is that France is controlling our economy, but also controlling our political life. But my main question is, are they thinking about the future of the youth if we get out of the France FA zone? Because this Bretton Woods agreement is um, helping the, uh, you, the um, French colonies to uh, grow their economy, but also it's a way to make easier the um, 
it's a way to make easier the um, system or of um, conver convertibility. It also helped them to be representing in on the uh, international scene and to be uh, to make easier the exchange with, the, with exchanges with the other countries. Um, the example I'm going to, 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 to give is very important, so you have to pay attention. I'm going to talk about the Zimbabwe, the Zimbabwean dollar. The Zimbabwean dollar uh, worth nothing, nothing of our, our Francifa. Because um, it was made like that because they, they decided to make their, their, their own currency. It go far at a way that they have to to create a ten billion dollar bill. Do you know what ten billion dollars mean? A bill of ten million dollars. So let's check it out. I have here five dollars, five Zimbabwean dollar. If they have a bill of ten billion dollar, imagine does this five dollar worth something? Can you buy something with five five Zimbabwean dollar? I don't think so. So if we get out of the Francifa zone, this is what the youth are going in. I have another example. We can take the example of uh, Guinea. In 1960, they decided to get out of the Francifa zone. But we all know what happened. The $7 billion is our $16 billion billions, uh, Francifa. Because the Guinean decided to get out of the Francifa zone and what happened is a lot of fake money come into the, their uh, country. And that make the devaluation, uh, the devaluation make that the Guinean Francifa worth nothing also. So thank you for listening. Hi guys. Hi. Hi, Chiki okay. member. So, um, I'm going to keep it really brief. Um, she already talked about the beginnings of the CFA and gave some examples, so I'm going to go straight to the point. Getting out of the CFA threat zone is really not a good idea. Let me tell you, baby, if we get out of the CFA threat zone, we will not be assured to have a stable economic monetary zone. There's no way. We won't be stable anymore. Staying in it will give us the assurance to stay stable and to run away of inflation. Do you know what inflation means? You do? I guess you do because you made your research and came here. Okay. I'm going to give you an example. I give you the example of Guinea. I think she already talked about it. There are 7 billion worth 16 billion to us. So I think if we move we are going to work nothing inside here. You know, the French CFA and the Euro are at the same level. If we move, we are going to be deep in shit. Seriously. Because, um, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to go to the next point because this is going to be really long. Um, getting out of the CFA zone isn't a good thing to consider because um, the youngsters, now are making entrepreneurship going really, really, really go. And uh, we will need a solid, a safe, and a reliable currency to make our business grow and put us in the front of the scene of the monetary zone. And this is not by going out of the CFA zone that we will achieve it. Um, next point I'll say, you think changing the currency is as easy as it sounds? No, baby. There's a lot of things to do. It's not only switching the bills. There's a whole lot of process behind it. So money has value and you have to appreciate it. Um, next point is um, we are really low in a fraud station. You know why? Because we are not easy to remake our money. First, because the money is not made here. And second, because there's a huge technology made system out there. So we can't do what I how we want. Uh, last but not least, I'd say that instead of thinking about changing and making a unique money, you should maybe think about upgrading the interregional trade and think about an optimal, I don't know, solution for the money trade. Thank you.
Hello guys. Do you hear me? No. No, nah, it's not working. Hello guys. Do you see here? Wait, wait. Do his job. Hello. Sorry. It's not your job. Take it easy. It's not your job. Sorry, sir. You have to speak now. Hi. 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 Hello, hello. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Power. Wow. So, okay? There is no power. Like, uh, fortunately for them, there is no power. I introduce myself. My name is Mamadou Bachi. So, uh, it's a little bit weird. You speaking with some people. They are your opponents. At least I'm not a jury, but I know something. You should so respect. Yeah. We're not the baby of anyone here. Ooh. And we're not tricky. That's right. what you said. Yeah. I'm not going to be long. I'm going to show you in an easy way what France CFA means. France CFA means. I'm going to show you in an easy way. You know what does it mean? <laughs> this is their bottle, right? French people come, they take this. It's a dead bottle, and I give them that. I say, I'm helping you, and I'm guaranteeing this is mine. Oh. Easily, this is what France is. Oh. But me, I'm not taking the bottle, I'm giving it back to them. <laughs> so, uh, you know, there was a, a little bit tricky. I mean, there is something a little bit tricky on the historical background of the French CFA. The first name, you know, uh, what was the first name? The first name was the French colonies of Africa. You put in the name of a currency, colony. There is no big colonization that is, than this. This is neo-colonialism. And after they say no, if we put colony inside, it will be a little bit tricky because they may think it's colonization. I mean, colonization. They can't. They change it and they make it French community of Africa. Now they say, yeah, it sounds a little bit, yeah, good. Maybe it's better. And after they say no, uh, let's make it echo. Echo. You know what is the chameleon? Chameleon can sound, can change color, but never the nature. The echo is like the chameleon has changed. It's gathered, but the nature is the same. Nothing changes. Echo France is very important. Yeah, yeah. We are talking about inflation. And she said something really important that we should make some research to know what is inflation. You should go and learn how inflation is in Africa. The situation, uh, they are creating inflation in Africa. You know how they create inflation? Like when Mali get out of the French CFA. You know what French government did? They go into Mali, they print a lot of bills, and they put it in the market to create inflation. The inflation comes from French people. It doesn't come from the Malian. It comes from the French people, in case you don't know it, this is how inflation is. And I'm really sorry to hear that they're saying that uh, we cannot go by ourselves. Now, meaning France have to make decisions for us. It's up to France now to say, yes, this is your currency, and this is how I want you to do it. France and Senegal is not the same. France and Africa is not the same. France is friends and we are here. And the opportunities we're talking about, opportunities for young people. How many young people today are taking the seat? Why are they going to the European countries? We ask yourself these questions. It's because everything that is here is brought there. Then to benefit from that, you have to go there. Entrepreneurship. You got information, but you're not informed. He said it. Each year, 300,000 people here in Senegal don't have job. Like, come in the job market, and only 30,000 of them have jobs. <laughs> and what the others, the 270,000, where are they? The others are taking the seat for going to Europe. The others are, you know, making, are in the delinquency. The others are doing something that has nothing to do with what they have been studying for years. Is it fair? Is it normal? And this is how we call French CFA is here to create entrepreneurship. Which kind of entrepreneurs are you talking about? I would like you, my brother, come and to answer these questions. And I'm really sorry and I'm shocked to hear people defending this kind of idea. And I'm ending my <laughs> argument by saying that uh, our leaders should take their own responsibilities. 
we young people also, we have to take our own responsibility because our future is ours. It's not up to white people to decide for our future. Yeah. We should be in the <laughs> My name is Jean and uh, I represent ESM in this debate. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned, you talked about respect. I'm sorry if you feel disrespected. This was not our intention. Um, some of us is, uh, the sun is out, uh, the emotions are out, we're a bit riled up. So I'm sorry if you feel any sort of respect. It's not what we meant. We're not here to disrespect yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you talked about uh, us. We should be ashamed to stand here defending uh, going against, being against going out of a France safer zone. Uh, I'd like to remind you that this is an intellectual exercise. It does not reflect in any way what we personally think. Mm -hmm. I was assigned a position and I will defend it. I'm sorry if, it, if you feel like we should be ashamed. Okay. So, uh, I would like to come back to some of the points you made uh, in the first part. You talked about uh, the end of World War II and uh, France, French uh, money being devaluated uh, when the Nazis invaded France. And then you said they said they did the same thing. You said that France then went on to colonize Africa. So I would like to remind you that colonization uh, started way before World War II. There are reports of uh, settlers in Africa in the 18s, in the 1800s. So um, I also would like to remind you that when that happened, when the devaluation of a French front happened, in I remember the 26th of December 1945, and you can fact check me if I'm wrong. But the French actually implemented France CFA to actually save the African colonies from the devaluation of the French front. So uh, you talked about education. You said the youth uh, needs education. Uh, you talked about the 300,000 uh, unemployed, and I am sorry, honestly, for them, but I don't think this is a financial issue. I think this is more of a government issue. No matter how good the currency is, do you think it will work? We will have such a good uh, employment rate if the government is not in it? Do you think if we give us the dollar right now, we would do good things with it? The government would do good things with it? Ask yourself that question. Also, uh, we talked about entrepreneurship and you would like to us to talk about what entrepreneurship we were talking about, we mentioned. So I'm saying, uh, for entrepreneurs, they need investors, okay? So to invest uh, in money, uh, to invest in someone or something, you need to know that the money you're going to invest, especially if you're foreign investors, is stable. So we are, we're standing here in an establishment, Dream, that is actually American-owned, if I'm right. And Americans are one of the biggest investors in the world. Do you think they would have invested in Senegal, in Dream, in building a restaurant bar in Senegal, if they knew the currency wasn't safe? If they knew they weren't going to get their money back? Also. Uh, you talk about uh, the two sides, the two sides saying that there's a Western African uh, Union and the Central African Union. The front has two sides. Of course it has two sides. Because both of these, uh, are, these are two separate poles of Africa. They have different interests. It has been tailor-made to make sure that it answers to all of the needs of both the populations. And then I would like, you talked about the euro. You talked about the fact that the value of the euro rose up while ours stayed the same. Well, uh, France CFA is actually affixed to the euro. Uh, so it's anchored to it. And it has a fixed parity, meaning that in the eyes of the market, they are both worth the same. The only reason why the value of the euro is so high is because it's Europe. Everybody trades with them. Therefore, the money has value. And they also have a lot of gold in reserve, which guarantees the money, the value of their money. If you want the French CFA to hold up, you need to guarantee also the value of the French CFA. Where is our guarantee? Exactly, we don't have it. It's a government problem, it's not a currency problem. And then you talked about uh, the fact that we need to get out and uh, that uh, it's not, uh, an opportunity for the youth. Well, I would like to talk to you about the Ghana City. The Ghana City, yes, the African dream. Everybody talked about it when it was implemented back in 1978. One Ghana City was worth 300 francs CFA back then, I remember, right? 
Guess what it's worth now? One Ghana City is worth 92 francs CFA. Why such high devaluation? Because it's unstable. Because there is no anchor. So, well, I have, well, I have equations for my brothers. Uh, so, I would like just to ask them equations. Can you just give me one country, a developed country, which doesn't have its monetary sovereignty? A country which doesn't have its own currency, a developed country. If you take the 10 best African countries, none of them is in the CFA zone. So why the others countries are not in the CFA, I mean, are not developing like the others? It's because of the currency. You cannot develop without the currency. It's quite impossible. And you talk about like the guarantee. Normally, it is stipulated that French government should guarantee 20%. This is what is written. But if we go back and see these last years, we almost guarantee 100%. What is the guarantee? No guarantee. We're doing all. If you think there is a guarantee out there, you're mistaken. There is no guarantee. And yeah, I'm going to let my friend, he's going to add something. It, it seems that I was listening to a comedian like Colette Hood. Do you know Colette Hood? <laughs> baby? Something like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not your baby. I'm not your baby. I have a girlfriend, and my girlfriend is much more beautiful. <laughs> Girlfriend, my girlfriend is much more beautiful than you. No, that's it. So just respect. I wanted to forgive, but yeah. So I, I thought really, I thought, but that that is not correct. Okay, so just I have to add something. You cannot manage your own home with your wallet, the wallet you use to pay the food, electricity and water with the wallet in the hands of somebody else. That's not possible. If you have seen somebody in Senegal or anywhere in the world that he is managing his, his own or her own, her own home with his or her wallet in the hands of somebody else, so just tell it to me. I'll agree with you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> well. Mr. Jean, you said that um, we have the, the French CFA becomes, I mean, came before. I was saying maybe you, you have just something like that over there. That is why you deeply think that I said that. I didn't say that. I said before we have our own independence. Stands there and talk to me about disrespect. And when he talk, he calls me a comedian. He says she's not beautiful. And then he makes a laugh. So I will not be lectured about disrespect when you come here, stand there and talk to me like that. I talk to you with respect. Also, you you misunderstood my point. I did not talk when I said warranty. I said that the euro, the value of the euro, is guaranteed by the fact that uh, the euro. Ian Union has reserves in gold. It's like American. You remember Americans, the dollars? Why was the dollar so strong back in the 70s? Because American old owned basically all of the gold in the world. Gold, value, something that has value, the warranties, the value of money. I didn't talk about whatever warranty you spoke about. And also, uh, you talked about uh, France if I come before. I said, you, you said the, the Nazis colonized the French and then the French went on and colonized the Africans. But I said colonization started, colonization in Africa started way before the Nazis. Are you ready? Okay. Colonization in Africa started way before the 90, uh, 1940s. Colonization in Africa started way before the 1940s. Do you want it louder? Yeah. Also, uh, you talk, uh, I, want, I would like to talk to you about uh, value. You said, you, 
you asked me to name a country, a country that has, doesn't have its own currency and has is developed. I would like to talk to you about the whole of Europe. Who has Euro? Euro doesn't belong to any country. Europe is a continent, if you're not aware, and it's regulated by the European Central Bank. This is not a country. It's a group of people who have a currency and who are developed. And the fact that you think that Central African countries are not in the top 10 of countries in Africa is sad because we might not have as much money as, uh, as Nigeria in South Africa, but let me remind you, a single person in Gabon, my country, has way more yearly than a person in Nigeria. Our, in, our income, GDP, GDP, gross domestic product by capita, meaning by person, is above $5,000, while in Nigeria, it's lower than $2,000. So. What's the point of having riches, of being worth billions, if your own people don't have enough money in their hands? Where does the money go? You want to talk about Nigeria, tell me where the money goes. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you shouldn't come in here and, and say things without having the facts to back them up. You would like to talk about the fact that we are printed in France, that we do not own our own currency. But guess what, the Ghana city is not printed in Ghana. It's printed by De La Rue, a company that is based in the United Kingdom. Okay. It's the same thing for South Africa. Their money is not printed by a South African company. It's printed by a De La Rue, which has an auxiliary company in South Africa. So few of countries in Africa actually produce their own bills, and it's safer that way. Look at what happened in India back in 8th of November 2016. The government under Narendra Modi, the, the current PM, they devaluated and banned. I stop. I have to Mike behind, right? If you want to have drink. Thank you very much, guys. All right, thank you, both team, for your brilliant presentation. I have a question to ISM. You guys say that uh, the Bretton Woods agreements are helping African economies to grow. I want you to elaborate on that, please. Thank you for that question. And uh, I was not talking about the whole uh, Bretton Woods agreement. I was talking about the, the, clause, the clause of the uh, Bretton Woods argument that was uh, involving the Francais Farm. Because it's a way, it, it was a way uh, for France to ratify to that uh, Bretton Woods uh, agreement to have a, a better look on the French colonies. Thank you very much. So as uh, my brother Abdurashid did, I just want to congratulate you on your brilliant presentation and just draw your attention on uh, to something, right? Uh, this is a debate and you are the future or you are the present and the future of Africa. Mm -hmm. And the, glo the, the overall topic is unity, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, this has nothing to do uh, with your personal human being. There is nothing personal about it for both teams. I'm not just, uh, I'm, it is not a lecture but we have to, we can defend our arguments with, you know, determination, commitment, but uh, also respect, showing respect to one another, right? So, uh, yeah, uh, please, okay, uh, don't say babies anymore, even if I know it's a, a term of affection, yeah, right? And uh, for the other team also, don't waste your time saying, I'm not your baby, my baby is more beautiful or stuff like that. Just focus on what, on your speech and what you have to deliver. Apart from that, the question that I wanted to ask, uh, he anticipated it. I just wanted to say, can you give me maybe a country that uh, is developed without having its own currency? But you have already answered to that question. So thank you so much for uh, your brilliant presentation. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, very beautiful presentation. Uh, congratulations to both teams. You can give them a round of applause. Very interesting. Uh, very, um, very awesome. Um, the only downside is the curse that you did. I give you a zero for that because we're intellectuals. We can't accept in a debate having curses. All right. So focus on the subject. Focus on the work. 
and you guys did a brilliant job. Congratulations. To be fair, right, a question was asked to ISHAME and another one should be asked yes. to I mean, the opponents. Well, you guys are um, tackled um, unemployment, so I want to know the link between unemployment and the currency. Very good. Okay, uh, concretely, how can we get out of the print city? Yeah, sorry. Concretely, what are the solutions that you would suggest to get out of the friend zone without being weak? I mean, or having a strong economy. Good. Um, thank you, dear members of the jury, for your questions. So, um, you asked about so the, the relation between currency and and unemployment. So it's like a, a little bit in the economic side. You know, when we're talking about employment, it means you have you having a good economy. And in economy, can, uh, currency is really important if you have your own sovereignty, if you decide by yourself, my money it is mine, where am I going to decide? This money is going to be here and here. You should define your own political, your monetary political, it's by yourself. But if you don't have your own currency, like France, France have like uh, France decide together with the French government where are we going to spend our money? This is where the, the, the problem is. But if we have our own money, our own currency, we can, we can say, yeah, this is where we're going to spend this money and this is where we're going to spend our money. You're going to be independent. But independent and you don't have your own currency. What is the independence? The currency is really important in the economy of a country and the economy is about jobs. Jobs, creativity and opportunity for the youth. That's it. <laughs> and, <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the other question is yes, concretely, how can we get out yeah. of the Yeah, because you just said it, like uh, when you were correcting her, that in Africa we need to unite ourselves. It's really important, Africa unite. And I think the battle today is the fight, is how are we going to gather the countries that are in the same side, like the West African countries can start the fight. We say we're going to uh, create our own currency by ourselves and try to make it step by step. If it works, the other country will join one by one, one by one, till we get all African countries. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Would you mind applauding them, please, guys? Thank you. Thank you, Monga. Look at me, like, take it easy and look at me. Hi, baby. Good. Yeah, I'm good, baby. Good. 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 Good.